Hello, dear country, this is uh, Grant. I'm gonna help you. Hey, Grant, it's me, Buck. Hey, Buck. How you doing, man? I'm doing swell. How's um, Plate Valley going? Uh, it's going swell. Okay. We're, we're making a pretty good income right now. We just haven't gotten a couple of things that I'm trying to look for into the inventory yet, and that is, do you happen to have any of those new um, 9000 Series 4 harvesters? Buck, we just got some in. Uh, so right now on the lot, I have a couple more coming, but for now we have the two big bad boys. 9800i and a 9900i, both with a 390 plus uh, chopper on the, the front. So All right. 9900i, I don't know if you know this, but biggest deer makes, and we actually just got that in. They had two coming out. One was shipped to our dealership, and then one was shipped to uh, India, uh, Indiana dealership. So we were lucky. All right. All right. Well, is it possible that I could possibly come out there quick and make a trade deal for my 8300 i we're we're closing today uh, hey uh, excuse me the amount of times that i've had to open my doors to you on the weekend okay if you owe me a favor okay we're cl okay buck i can stay after wife's gonna be mad at me but i can stay after man let's do it get your butt on right. down here and i'll see you all right see you bud i'll be there in about 20 minutes okay 10 4 see you buck see you bud and there's jake right on cue Jake, thanks for bringing that down, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. It's a little slick out, but uh, uh, what, do you, what do you want the trailer at? Um, ah, That's kind of the used area, but man, I don't even know if we have any inventory yet, or I don't even know, know if we have any room in the new area. I think for now, just pull her around in here. Just follow me. I'll, I'll run over there. Yeah, if you want to pull up here, you can just keep pulling up a little closer to the roadway. I'll block off the roadway for you. Keep coming. And good. I'll detach her for you. There we go. Well, Alrighty. thanks for bringing that down for me, man. We're just so swamped here. We got customers coming in left and right. Otherwise, I would have grabbed that. But, uh, man, I'll buy you a beer sometime or something. All right. I'll, I'll take you up on that. But I'm going to get out of the rain. It, it's cold out Yeah. There. Yeah, it is. I'm soaked already. So, man, this is, uh, I love it. This is my little pool now. <laughs> All right, man. Well, I got I to gotta head out and get some stuff done. But uh, if you ever need anything, just give me a ring. Okay. I'll see you later. Don't drown. See ya. Those eight R's are speedy little things. Look at Jake go. So guys, Deer Country is actually uh, pretty soon here. We're going to actually help out. I want to stay outside of the rain. <clears throat> Don't want to get wet, but Deer Country is actually helping out a local farmer around here. Um, if you guys know Austin, he purchased a, well, right now he's demoing our 7R. He did demo our 6R, uh, but he is, he's told me not to tell you guys this. <laughs> but he's having issues um just the other day he wet his tractor basically what this means is he told me not to tell you guys this but uh he's having issues and it's medical issues where uh just randomly whenever he sees a case tractor he starts he starts peeing all over the cab just when he's inside he just starts peeing all over and it's like some bladder control issue so He's having medical issues. I know he's going to be in the hospital a couple of days here, but I think he's going to be out in the field. What we're going to do is we're going to help him. Um, not not much of the town knows this yet, what's kind of going on, but it's going to cost him a lot of money in medical to get that fixed. So what we're going to do is I know he needs a chop soon. So I'm going to go out in the rain quick and show you guys what I think we're going to do. So we have a 9900i and it's kind of a demo unit. So I think what I'm going to do is... Just to make Austin's day a little better, we're gonna let Austin demo this 9900i. And then at the same time, think what I'm gonna do is either take, it depends how wet it is when we're cutting, but we're either gonna run by semis for hauling the chaff off the field, or I'm gonna run this Joskin. Oh, hey, there's Buck. Or I'm gonna run this Joskin. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Austin, or maybe I'll run it, or somebody will run it to help him with help him with silage uh, when he's chopping. We'll have this Joskin along with uh I gotta figure out what tractor we're gonna use. One of these tractors. I gotta figure out what's just gonna pair best with the Joskin. Kind of help them. Oh, okay. There's Buck. What does he got? What is that? 8300i. Okay. Those things. Uh, right off the top of my head, those things re retail for like 350. Hey, Buck. So, how you doing? I'm doing swell. It's a little, a little damp out here, but eh, rain will hurt. Yeah, man. So um, yeah. So I got this 8300. I believe it's a um ah, shoot 2016 i don't remember what i honestly don't remember please don't hate me if i don't know but um i want to make a trade in on this and it's not like i got a whole lot of stuff i need to do with the forage harvesting but i would like to make an upgrade i mean heck if i'm making i'm making pretty good bank up at that flat valley right now because it's the best dealer in town still number one in best seller over the summer months but oh that uh, is true that is true i did see that new local newspaper around more the other day mm -hmm. i picked one up and they're like plate valley number one and then deer country number two but we just opened for business I'll change, Buck. I'll change you. Christmas time, you'll beat me. But, um, yeah, I would like to make a trade-in on this, possibly. I know I'm going to have to drop a couple pounds, drop a couple bucks on this one. No pun intended. 
Okay. But the header's in the uh, the most rough condition, as you can see on the bottom of this from scraping in the fields. This was used. The header is, um, I believe it's older than this by a couple of years, but it has a lot more time and wear. But you said you had an 8300i, a 80, no, a 90, 9800i and a 9900, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll run through this after. But yeah, we I can get you trade on value on this A300i. Uh, but first, here, let's not waste fuel. Let me shut this puppy off. Eh, diesel's cheap. Not. There we go. But here, let me show you the 9800i I have. Um, All right. Oh, by the way, I, he doesn't want us to tell us tell him this, but uh, local farmer around town. I'm gonna I'm actually saving this 9900i kind of for a demo slash like little giveaway for a couple hours. Uh, local <laughs> farmer around town, Austin. Uh, he's having these these bladder issues. Whenever he sees a case of his tractor, he wets the cab. He he, pee, he pees all over the cab and just like, <laughs> just full bladder is leaked all over the cab. And he's going to be in the hospital for a couple days for surgery, I know. Uh, and then it's going to be a little rough getting surgery. It's going to have a tough time getting out of the tractor. If he's a case, it may happen again. Doctor doesn't know. Doctor's never heard of something like this. So uh, I was thinking to use 9900i to help him with his chopping because I know chopping season's coming up. And, uh, oh, yeah. He'll need something like that. So we're trying to help him. <sighs> Told me not to tell you. So keep him down low, I guess. But uh, right. I may ask you once we get into the season to kind of help out too. It's cool. All right. It's just That'd a fine. thing that John Deere dealers, you know, we can come together for something like this, especially when it's bladder issues like that. Oh, hey, would you like to hear, um, would you like to hear some news? What? Fred, the boss, he finally retired. I got the spot. I'm really? manager at Platte Valley. Yep. What about Tony? Didn't Tony outsell you in tractors last year? Nope. No? Okay. Remember how his, uh, his keyboard was all sticky? I showed you there up at the dealer. And he had the bladder issue too. No, oh. no, no. Okay. <laughs> no, he um, he did. We both did very well this year. I I don't I don't recall who actually sold better, but either way, we we did our jobs. Uh, I think I might keep him around because he actually does a very good job. I just don't care for him. But okay. yeah, I'm now the manager up at uh, Platte Valley. So so you fire Tony? I'll see if he does anything stupid or if he makes me mad one day. I might throw him throw him out, but. He's not doing half bad. I looked at the stats. He's actually a pretty good guy. Really? Um, still hate him, but yeah, he's a good guy. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. Let me know. I I, I can pick up Tommy for some cheap. Cheap. It sounds like. <laughs> Possibly. If anything, I'll point him in your direction. Okay. Yeah, appreciate it, Buck. Mm -hmm. um, Gotta love the okay. sloppy seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the big bad 9800i. She comes in All second right. behind the 9900, but you're gonna save some. You're gonna save some of that Dell. Um, yeah. I'm not so buck. I'm gonna be honest straight up front right now. We have this priced out at 420,000. Uh, package deal, uh, comes with the chopper, the 390 Pro, uh, which is pretty darn expensive, actually. It's the biggest, it's the biggest deer makes. Now, you can get some aftermarket ones. I know some guys have bought this and didn't even want the 390 Pro and got some aftermarket ones, which is totally fine. Right. Uh, but it just goes good together. It's a package deal, that's how it comes mm -hmm. now. Couple key features about this. Yeah, so this puppy has uh, 850 horse. Now, <laughs> that's crazy. It has a Cummins engine, solid engine. Uh, but man, that 9900, that's pushing over 900 horsepower. It's insane what this will put out. Yeah. And uh, mm, I, I think that's eventually something deer will get to. But when you got these big, we, we got these big Firestone duels, uh, a lot of our customers I've been talking to, they, it seems like they don't need it. So they've been happy with it, even if it's not four wheel drive. Uh, we have the big Firestone. There's seven tens on there, which seem to do well. We could always, if you want a bigger tire, a wider tire, we could always put an 800, 900 on there too. Pretty darn wide, but. Yeah. I mean, I think I think diesels will do fine for okay. right now. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> if anything, I almost might take them off, but. Really? Yeah, we could, and I'm we not... could do that for you right now and we could discount the price. I can take off, you know, I can take off a, I, I, you gonna kill me with a chainsaw? No, right no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, wait. Was that you farting? No, oh, that, was, uh, no, yeah, no that wasn't me, man. That wasn't me. Bird, yeah, bean burritos. But uh, but we we could take them off and we could discount the price if you'd like. Something like that. We could definitely do that. Because nah. if I want them, I just might as well keep them. Okay. And okay. I can take them off of my place. But Okay. Um. So you said this was running at four, 420000 Yeah. Would you want to jump in there and give her a little test drive? I don't have any corn you can chop, but you can turn her on. You can see how the operations go. Uh, I'll see how smooth it is compared to the 8300. Okay, okay. Jump in her. Oh, the wipers work. All right. Let's see here. I All right, like I it. like uh, I thought it was really nice. I took it around the bend. I mean, I think you saw me what it looked like. I accidentally mm -hmm. clipped that over there. Now yep. I'm testing out the suspension. I wanted to just see what that would react to, and it was uh, it was really smooth. Okay, okay. Yeah, now one thing, one, one add-on that I forgot to tell you about is Deer Country Special. Uh, it's a zombie prep package. Uh, so we figure zombie apocalypse comes, you're most likely going to be using 9800i. 
Uh, we also put a Kimber 1911 uh, as your secondary in the uh, in the cooler in there. There's a cooler under the seat, so uh, that's Deer Country special. I know Plate Valley probably doesn't have something like that, but we think at worst case, worst case, this is gonna, this is better than gold. You would want this over gold. Everybody's like zombie apocalypse, gold, gold, gold. 9800i John Deere, man. These things are valuable, even if the world ends. I think I might pass up on that deal. Okay, but um, definitely I'll just uh, get that trade-in value for the 8300. Okay. As well as um, this thing does come with a warranty, right? Yes, yes, yep. I yep. can guarantee we were, that if you run it during harvest, you're going to run it into a pole. Yeah, we were on a five-year five, five year <laughs> or a thousand-mile warranty, whatever comes first, or a thousand-hour thousand warranty, sorry. All Hopefully right. you're not putting a thousand miles on. Maybe you are. Let's say, am I driving cross-country with this thing? Okay, so 8300i, just want to check it over to make sure there's nothing unusual compared to the, like the average market, what's on the market. Uh, looks good, looks good. Header is a little rough, but that's just average market use. You know, I'm gonna, I let me jump in the interior, but I think I'm gonna mark this down as solid. Yeah, the only thing that I've uh, had uh, or heard that has been done to this thing is, all right, so what did you, uh, what do you think of it? And uh, what do you think I might be able to get for it? So I gotta check with the finance team, but right now um, we're thinking 310,000. Uh, we saw 600 hours on there, which is quite a bit of hours. But uh, 310,000 seems like a fair deal. So your difference most likely, what I say, uh, so it'll be uh, 120,000 is gonna be the difference you're gonna pay at the, you know, when we come to all the, uh, when we come to figure out the difference, 120,000. That's so what you're gonna pay is it just out me the or did the rain pick up? Rain's picking up. Do you wanna go inside? Nah, okay. I'll be fine. Okay, so fuck, do you wanna think about it overnight? Shoot, I'm dropping the money right now. I got I got my checkbook with okay, me. Okay, Buck, Buck, tell you what. We uh, we got a couple other zombie prep packages, and I want to give you it for free. Deal right now, 120 grand in zombie prep package. Let's get this done. Kimber 1911. Okay, what is the zombie? Zombie prep package is basically <clears throat> Kimber 1911 and then an oxygen mask. Okay. So a 1911, it. a 45. It's a solid secondary. Do it. Do it. I want it now. Okay. Just put it down on the list. Okay. We got you sold, man. I appreciate it, Buck. I really right. do. Okay, do you want uh, this delivered, or are you just going to drive it home? Because it looks like this I'm was your ride. Okay. Yeah, I was, I'm going to have to drive it home. So thank you for the business deal. Uh, pleasure doing business, and I'll see you guys during harvest. Yes, yes. Yeah, and uh, man, you know, come over uh, to Austin's place. I'll, I'll let you know. All right. Don't spread the word too much about his issues. Oh, I won't. Okay. I'll make sure I just laugh about it like that one joke that you'll never tell anybody, so they just instantly get mad at you. Yeah, yeah. Don't put in your vlog, Buck. Don't don't put it don't put it on your uh well it, well it's still Mr. Boom but if you want to check me out hit me up at Mr. Boomnastic aka the Rental Man I'm gonna be trying to get, get some more stuff on there okay and that's on www.youtube.com well if you're a kid uh, well if you're a boomer that has to uh, type in the www yes okay. otherwise just check it out on YouTube boy making them TikToks I don't no, go on I YouTube don't. that often so I, so no, I, how many hits do you have on your page um I think I got like two point three some i got like two point some k subscribers okay i've only made one video and so far it's already almost had like 200 some views so do you get paid five dollars for every subscriber how does that work boy i wish my grandson watches youtube all the time watches dude called the squad and then he watches How this dude called Austin you? farmer but i don't let him it's pretty inappropriate but uh <laughs> Anyways, Buck, I'll see you later, man. Buck, I, <laughs> Buck, I really appreciate the purchase at Deer Country. Uh, as always, call my number anytime. It's 1 a.m. You're having life issues? Feel free to give me a call. Or you're having deer issues? Feel free to give me a call. Either or. I'm here for you, Buck. We're always here for you. But uh, I'm, I'm going to get run because the wife is calling. She's yelling at me. She's screaming. So I got to get going, man. But uh, All right, see you, we'll, we'll talk this week. I'll, t I'll call you tomorrow. Make sure everything's running good on it. And uh, we'll get you going and we'll get payments done. But All I'll right. see you later, man. See you Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. And of course, uh, I'm just feel free to check out any of these guys' channels. Austin Farmer, uh, uh, Jake's channel, uh, The Formal Pickle, and uh, and Buck's channel, Boom, Mr. Boomtast. Boomnastic. Man, he's going to kill me. I forgot his name. I heard that. But anyways, guys, <laughs> thanks for watching. And their channel links will be down below. Seriously, thanks for watching, guys. What we're going to do is we're going to do a little silage harvest coming up later where we're actually going to help out Austin who is having those issues. Uh, but that'll be next video, most likely. Thanks for watching, guys.